Hello everybody, this is FT Raw with a new video tutorial for Drive, the car simulation for Cinema 4D. I want to show you how to set up a big truck, a six-wheeler with a semi-trailer we used in our latest promo clip and therefore we were looking for a high detailed object and we found a nice one on Sigi Studio here we got it and this nice model is very detailed the suspension and the powertrain, the steering mechanics everything is there and later I will show you how we can include these objects into the simulation so what do we need else of course we need the drive plug-in and we also need X wheels add-on because we have three axes and the standard drive only supports four wheels okay so let's start with the truck I hide the trailer for now and I'm pretty sure that these fender objects here don't belong to the truck but to the trailer because otherwise the trailer could not turn here and um, to be sure I was looking on the internet and I found some pictures that shows that the fender objects are attached to the trailer and so I decide to move these objects to the trailer object group okay so first we put the car in the center of the world put it on the ground and so that it oriented to the positive z-axis and then we can start as with every setup separating the wheels from the car object and fortunately here in this object in this model all objects are separated so we can select it by clicking on and grouping and then I rename it to wheel front left and hide it to see if there are other objects I've missed and then I move them to the group until it's empty what you see there is uh, part of the axis I show you later what to do with it so the right wheel front selecting grouping and rename it to wheel front left and then I hide it and we see that there is another tire object so I think it's a little mistake here in the object it's double um, yes it's double so we can just delete it and the screws here also belong to the front wheel Okay, now the rear wheels. Same procedure. Selecting what we see. And grouping. Renaming. And hide it select the missing objects so same for the rear left wheels
and the mid wheels. Okay, now we have the wheels. And now we can select all the other objects and group them to the body object. Now our objects are ready for rigging. First I create the simulation object that manages all the car objects. And here I create the vehicle object. Since we have an additional axle, I attach the X wheels tag and create a new axis. Since this is a copy of the rear axle, I choose the rear wheels property. Additional axes can either inherit the properties of the front or the rear wheels. Now we can rig the car by dragging our car objects to the model objects list. The order in the list doesn't matter, except of the wheels of the third axis must be after the standard wheels. Clicking on create setup and voila, the rig has been adjusted to our model and the objects were inserted into the containers, remaining just a little fine tuning. Before working on the geometry, the front rear symmetry should be switched off because this car, the front wheels differ from the rear ones. Now I decrease the height of the body container to match better the shape of the car. And I move it a bit down. It's important to press shift while moving, otherwise the poly model would be moved also because it's already a child of the container. Now the roof. The shape of the container is used for calculating the aerodynamics and the collision with the ground if the car rolls over. The width of the front wheels wasn't calculated properly because of these screws here. So I use this handle to reduce the width and this big one to adjust the position, again holding the shift key pressed. Now let's do some work on the suspension. The suspension objects are these sign crosses here. We have two suspension objects per wheel. One is attached to the chassis and the other one is connected to the wheel. Now I move these objects to suitable positions given by the car model. So we can later include the damper models into the simulation. As you can see I just move the right hand objects, the left follows accordingly. Also, the objects of the third axis are positioned automatically. Next, the counterpart in the wheel. The two suspension objects always point to each other and this way define the suspension axis. Now the front. Here we have the damper of the front wheel.
I have to hide some objects to locate it here in the front view. Okay, here we have it. Again, I just move the right hand object and put it on top of the damper model. And now the counterpart in the wheel. This one can only be moved along the wheel axis, so we don't have to care about the height. As you can see, the front damper is a bit tilted. So I shift the chassis suspension object a bit backwards. Okay, that's all for the geometrical setup. In the next part, we'll make all the other settings for the car. For example, the weight, the engine power, and the springs, so that the car will drive and behave like a heavy truck. <laughs>